Hi everyone, my name is Franco and I'm part of the Shop Hero product team. Today I want to take you through one of the most essential parts of Shop Hero, so we definitely recommend you taking the time to set it up properly, and that's coupons. So while you can totally use Shop Hero without coupons, and you can see our quick setup video if you want to do that, but we strongly encourage that you use coupons, especially if you're a newer brand or new to selling online. And I'm telling you this because there's a ton of data out there that shows just how effective coupons or discount codes or special offers, whatever you really want to call them, how effective they are in e-commerce marketing. Psychologically, people just love deals. So just to quickly throw a few statistics at you in case you're a bit skeptical or think the coupons aren't for you, Valsys reported that 78% of consumers are influenced to buy from a brand that they wouldn't typically buy from due to a coupon. And the average abandoned cart rate is 75%, but using a coupon can, can lead to a recovery rate of 30% or more. So obviously there's a huge case for making sure that you're using coupons. And the section of the app that I'm about to take you through in Shop Hero does a lot of the heavy lifting for you behind the scenes in terms of generating those extra sales off of coupons. And the reason is simple, because when you combine that right product recommendation uh, that's tailored for each individual customer when you're giving, and then you're giving them a coupon, well, there's zero reasons not to buy right then and there. So before we get much deeper in all this, let's go ahead and jump into Shop Hero. I just want to note that I'm using a test store and a brand new install of Shop Hero. So just like many of you will be, um, this will look very similar because we just got started and we're going to dive into some of the optimal ways of setting up our store. Now there is a quick list inside Shop Hero of the four things that you should do and setting up coupons, which we're going to cover in this video, is number two because it's so important. So let's go ahead and get started. Once you're logged in, all you want to do is click settings on the navigation here in the top and go ahead and move over towards coupons. So on the coupons page here, you're basically going to see a set of instructions that I will walk you through in this video, but it's here for reference if you want to check it out in the future. As we scroll further down a page, what you'll see is are all the preset, pre-created placeholder coupons that power all the different campaigns that Shop Hero will be sending for you. No matter which marketing channel you're using, email, push notifications, Facebook Messenger, or all the cool unreleased ones yet to come. All the coupon recommendations come from here and will then reach your customers where it makes the most sense. So all we've got to do as we move down this page is either make sure that you've got these exact same coupons in Shopify or that you've moved the relevant discount codes from Shopify over into Shop Hero. Let me just slow that down and really show you what that means. I'm going to start by hopping over to my Shopify test store that I've set up for this video. And don't worry about trying to follow along here uh, if you're not at home switching back and forth, trying to do the same setup in real time. These same instructions are available on the Shop Hero Help Center and at the top of the coupons page as I mentioned to help you so you can do everything at your own pace. So before we go any further, I just want to recap that there's really two ways to use coupons in Shop Hero. The first is to use the exact placeholder code that we've created for you by default in Shop Hero and place them in your Shopify store. That's the only place you have to add them and it'll automatically get pulled into the right campaign inside Shop Hero from there. The second way is to use an existing coupon that's already active in the Shopify store and copying it over to the right campaign type in Shop Hero. So we're going to cover both of these options together right now. So here I am in my test Shopify store that you guys will be very familiar with and I'll go ahead by just clicking on discounts uh, here along the left admin navigation. Since my store already has a coupon set up, I'm going to go ahead and start with that option first, adding a discount code from Shopify into Shop Hero. So this one looks like it's a welcome coupon and it just happens to be already set up as welcome 15 and it's 15% off the whole order. So all I've really got to do uh, to reuse that one is actually just copy and paste that code. So that's command C on a Mac and control C on a PC. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy the name of that coupon and I'm going to switch over to Shop Hero and just scroll down the page to find the welcome campaign that's already been set up. There it is. And all I need to do is actually replace this placeholder code in the middle with the value from Shopify and update the discount percentage or dollar amount, but it was percentage inside Shopify. I'm going to update that to 15% and turn the code on. And that's it. The coupon's been saved and it's now active for my welcome campaigns. Now, if you're interested in seeing how to add a coupon from Shop Hero, back into the discount section of Shopify. Let's go ahead and start here from the Shop Hero dashboard. I'll go ahead and click settings. I'll select coupons again. Now I'm in the coupon section and let's go ahead and just pick the customer birthday as an example campaign since it's the first one. All I need to do is highlight the 
coupon placeholder code that Shop Heroes provided me. So I'll go ahead and hit Command C to, con to copy that. It's also Control C on a PC. And I'll switch over to my Shopify store. Now in the discount section, which I can find here again along the left hand side navigation, all I need to do is go ahead and click create a discount. Now you'll see a lot of fields, but this is actually much simpler than it looks. All we need to do is copy and paste the discount code into the discount code name here, which is the first box. So that's Command V on a Mac and Control V on a PC. And now I just need to tell Shopify a little bit more about how I want this coupon code set up. So I want to use it as a percentage, but there's another option to switch that. I'm going to apply it to the entire order and there's no minimum requirements in this case because I feel that for somebody's birthday they should be able to do it for everything. Um, I'm going to apply it to everybody so all customers as soon as their birthday comes up are eligible for the use of this coupon. I could choose to go ahead and limit it. I could choose to set some dates but I'm not going to go ahead and do that for this case today just because again whenever it's one of my customers birthday I want them to be able to have 15% off their entire order and all I need to do is go ahead and hit save discount. Great, so now that that's set up inside my discount list here in Shopify, let me just show you that it's there on the dashboard. Great, so I have two active coupons, the one that was already here that I copied into Shop Hero, and the one that was active in Shop Hero that I was happy with and just wanted to copy over uh, for birthday campaigns. So now I'm just gonna switch back to Shop Hero and just make sure to turn that on, and that's it. So we just successfully covered both ways of using coupons between Shop Hero and Shopify. Once again, this is definitely something that we would highly recommend doing for your store because using discount codes, coupon codes, whatever you want to call them, is a proven tactic to generating more sales. So don't forget to follow us online. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at GetShopHero. And if you love Shop Hero, don't forget to share it with a fellow merchant and leave us a review on Shopify. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys soon.